in this video I want to show you how to remove a virus from your computer. So virus, malware or spyware and even cookies that can cause problems. So sometimes you will see the physical form of a, a, a virus on your computer like it will be showing up on a window like just like the malware bytes that I have here um, and it won't allow you to do anything on your computer. Now then there are other types of rogue programs that will infect your computer but you won't notice you won't notice them um, affecting your computer and watch out for so you need to be running malware bytes on a regular basis on your computer if you want to keep your computer clean from viruses so at least once a week run malware bytes it's a free program this is the new version um, 2.0 um, so you can download it from malwarebytes.org you see it there at the top of the browser and you can download it from this guy here which is download.cnet.com now it is a very good program at removing viruses but if your computer is infected and this goes for desktops laptops netbooks notebooks um, if your computer is badly infected you will not be able to run any antivirus program until you stop or malware program until you stop the pro the, the virus kill the virus from running on your computer and the easiest way to do that is to run your computer in safe mode now it doesn't always work but majority of the time I find that it will so what you need to do is restart your computer and start start the computer in safe mode and the first thing you have to do is make sure that you have a internet cable connected to your computer now you can go with the wireless route but sometimes your wireless can be disconnected because of a virus so be careful malware can do it as well um, it can actually affect the internet connection so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you, if you have a virus or if you, you, you think that you may have a root kit um, running in the background it's another type of virus a root kit um, so what we do is you have to restart your computer and start it in safe mode so we're going to click restart and when your computer starts restarts starts to boot you press F8 on most computers it's F8 but to check your user manual to know which one to keep on pressing and just keep on tapping it until this screen comes up okay so choose an advanced option choose an advanced option for Windows 7 use the arrow key to highlight your choice and the choice we're going to be using is safe mode with networking and the reason why we're using safe mode with net networking is so that we have access to the internet so that we can um, update malware bytes in safe mode so once you have it highlighted click enter this guy over here and windows will start this funny loading and it's just uh, setting up um, system files for safe mode so what it does is it cuts out all the drivers of um, other areas of your computer so we just wait until it um, loads there and you would log in as normal whatever your login um, So whatever your login type it type it in there as well and then you'll see this safe mode opening up and you'll see safe mode written 
on all four corners. This is uh, window seven, by the way. And you can go and close that window, windows help and support. You can just close that guy. Now we have access to malware bytes in safe mode. So now we can run a scan in here. And at this stage, if it's a virus that's making your computer um, un unusable, this will um, keep it, it, it'll stop it from running if you run in safe mode. So what we're going to do now is scan the computer for a virus. So you go up here to, this is the new version. So the old version is just a scan. The scan um, but option would be here. Um, and then just run a scan. So click on scan there. Okay. And then go to scan now, which is this green guy down here at the bottom. And we're, what we're doing is you can custom your scan and you can do a hyper scan quickly checks your system for active threats we want to do a full scan because we have a virus and we want to check and make sure that we um, give it every possible avenue to check so that it can check every area of your computer so click the scan now button and it will go away and do the scan now once you click the scan um, updates are available click updates now to download updates so this is what I'm saying you need to have your internet connection connected you can try it as I said in your Wi-Fi or wireless option but you're safer to do it um, by uh, physical cable connect the physical cable to the computer that you're trying to scan for viruses so we're going to skip update but uh, you should update now well, we'll just do the update now anyway it should be fairly quick hopefully so now it finished the, the updates and now it's doing the scan so I hope you can see that I'm doing it live because we can't I can't record the screen on the computer um, while it's in safe mode so this this scan can take anything up to um, a half an hour depending on the size of your hard drive and how many files you have in your computer so we'll just let it um, tip along there and uh, we'll come back when it's finished and see has it's found anything and if there is a virus more than likely it will catch it okay now malware bytes has just finished running in safe mode and it has found uh, no threats on this computer so if it's a thing that you do have a virus and you do run it, it run malware bytes in safe mode it will um, for starters your virus whichever type of virus you're having will more than likely not run in safe mode now the severe ones will run in safe mode but majority of them don't run in safe mode so it's just another method of removing a virus quickly from your computer. You're not sure how to um, use malware bytes to remove a virus. I have a video there on my um, YouTube channel that you can uh, look at and it'll show you how to remove the, the actual virus from your computer. And you'll probably need to restart your computer also to remove whatever is infecting your computer. So that's it um, that's how you would remove a virus from your computer now as I said sometimes you see the virus it comes up as as a, a window on your desktop and it prevents you from doing anything with your computer or it prevents you from opening the internet or you may be able to open the internet but you will possibly not be able to run a browser so um, that's how you uh, remove a virus from a computer the easiest way I know okay so once you remove the virus all you do then is you close down uh, all the windows so all you do then is you uh, shut down the computer and then turn it on again 
again if malware bytes has found a problem it will remove it and it'll ask you to restart anyway or it will malware bytes will restart your computer for you okay so you just shut down your computer and restart it and then this is the same sequence that you would use on any um, computer you do um, desktops laptops netbooks and notebooks and even some tablets i hope this was uh, helpful and uh, thanks for watching